Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Yabyuk and Fungal, and today I'm going to be starting up a Let's Play that I'll definitely finish this time. Uh, the game we're going to be playing is, well it's going to come up in a second here, we're going to be playing Star Fox Adventures. Now, uh, until yesterday I've never played this game before, you know I obviously saw the JonTron video and whatnot, but uh, I got as far as the uh, the beginning level and decided to wait until you know recording myself to play the, play the rest so far it's not horrible then again maybe it's just because like, I've never played a Star Fox team before this so I don't have all those preconceived uh, notions of what the game series needs to be but I did like it for the gameplay for what it was so uh, I'm just gonna stop talking so we can get in right now uh, as much as I would love to watch this intro all the way through, because it is a badass theme tune. Right, we're gonna load the memory card. Yeah, there we go. Uh, there's my practice file, 0%, even though I did do things. I guess I didn't save though. Alright. Alright, well, we're going to name ourselves Yikin. As far as I can go with that. Alright, let's begin. Play game. There we go. <laughs> From the depths of space, a girl named Crystal searches for the truth of her parents' death. Finding herself within a lost corner of the Lilac system, she receives a distress call from the world known as Dinosaur Planet. Being of kind nature, Crystal decides to investigate. What kind of a world is Dinosaur Planet? Names it that. Uh. Oh god, I forgot they speak in this weird fucking tongue. Right. Well, I'm not gonna let them... If there's a cutscene where they do like this weird language that doesn't exist, I'm just not gonna bother. I'm just gonna talk over it. If, when they start speaking English, I'll be a little more quiet. And there's, yeah, the meteors. Oh, lost her staff, yeah. When I... I used to think that uh, Crystal was like from the ancient past, you know, like to call from Sonic Adventure, because they have a similar character design, you know. The, uh, the whole, like, native clothing thing and, uh, tattoos on their body. Oh yeah, this is our first game that she appears in as well. Because, uh, well, I'm not even going to get too far into it. Like, pretty much, uh, you know, Dinosaur playing the whole thing, that was going to be the name of the game. Uh, this is going to be the, one of the main characters. And that's why this game is not a doesn't play like a Star Fox game, except now. This isn't really Star Fox, I guess, like, it's more of a... You're on a pterodactyl? I could not figure this part out when I first played, because, like, you either, like... You don't even take damage when you get hit with anything, which is, uh, strange to say the least. There's no real agency. And then this fan part. It never made sense, but then I realized, oh yeah, you gotta hit the propeller blades, but it doesn't, but then, like, it's, you think you can go past because you've got the, the things out of the way, but no, you just go back, and you can't really control, uh, how, how far your pterodactyl friend goes, which is strange. There, got it, uh, well, of course I got it first try, you can't die in this section, there's no health bar in Come on, shoot your blue spheres. This kind of reminds me of the part of Sonic Adventure where you're on the plane. Except, uh, you can actually die in there. I'm starting to notice a pe- Jesus, okay, okay, okay. Maybe the real punishment is that you have to keep playing this part. Oh no. I don't understand what the hell this thing is, because it's alive, but it's not. Is it like some kind of demon thing? Rareware's always had a thing where they have non-alive objects be alive. There's Clanker, there's uh... All the rock people from Banjo-Kazooie. Alright. 
it more. I said Kubo I went could the hole. <laughs> sure. That's some nice fire effects right there. You can tell that this game was a... Oh, hold on. Your adventure begins. Use the analog stick to move Crystal around the galleon. Press the L trigger to center the camera behind Crystal. If you listen carefully, you might be able to hear a voice. Try finding the source of that voice. Well, that's a bit ominous. Yeah. This is a... You can definitely tell in some areas that this is a late N6... This was supposed to be a late N64 game. But, uh... It's not like they skimped out of the, on the graphics, either. They definitely, uh... They definitely made it, uh... GameCube standards, at least for an early GameCube game. What the hell? Green A button. This will tell you what A can do at that time. Oh, it's a context-sensitive thing. By pressing A, you were able to talk to me. That was you who told me that?! If you know so much about the inner works of this world, why the hell are you in a cage? This button can do many different things. Oh, and you... Did you do that? You know, for being useless... That's the Klingon symbol. Huh. Alright. Uh, yeah, I think it's over here, yeah. Stands out a lot in this, uh, this dark environment, which is funny. I wish there was a jump button. Maybe there's a jump button. Oh, here comes the best animation of all, uh, f from all, uh, here comes the best animation in all of gaming. <laughs> yeah, she just does that little fucking, like, yippee thing. It's so, uh, it's so climactic and unclimactic at the same time. It's amazing. Okay, you have found a key. When you pick up an item, it will be placed in your C inventory. Move the C stick in any direction to display your inventory. Then push C left or right to rotate the inventory. Each slot will hold different types of objects. Well, that's cool. All right. Gold key. Another Klingon symbol. I guess we gotta go back to the top of the ship. Yeah, remember? Okay, I I regret saying uh, that she stood out in this environment because I can barely tell where the hell I'm going. Oh. Oh shit. It's the Gorn. General Scales, Hiko, Kohud, or Taskuki, if Dinosaur Planet. Again, why is it called Dinosaur Planet? I'm Dek Kutsuho Kaipori Goi. I'm Edko Kutsuho Rosvejo Evu Tashkov. I see, I've watched Star Trek. Distress calls are never uh, something you want to answer because it always ends up in your crew getting killed or you getting captured. It's never usually. It, it, it's, they never mean that, you know? Cloud Runner. Moak. Aumdekulak. Ahiko ilo kio. Mudu tadishwi kiaro. Kiok. Babies died during the production of this, I hope you know. People lived, died, and, uh, and went, went to the. And, you know, went to the great up beyond, uh, while this was being developed. General Scales! Jesus! Alright. Okay. General! General! It's weird because her English voice sounds nothing like this, you know, when she's talking, a uh, Galactic Basic or whatever the hell they call it. Oh, this definitely looks like level design. That's the hallmark of the GameCube era. Uh, in the cinematics, places look realistic, but uh, as soon as you get to the game, they're just blocks and platforms. Shut up, Kazooie. So her fur looks weird. I much prefer uh, her... Well, I wouldn't say prefer... I like her Star Fox uh, command design. That's more or less because it uh, is true to the original SNES uh, promotional design. Okay, when you want to save your game, you must have a memory card inserted into slot A. Well, I don't, but I do have a documents folder. Press bleh, to pause the game and display the save slash quit options. Highlight the required option by moving. 
the left analog stick, right, then pressing A to select. Don't forget that you can save any time. Well, I'm gonna abuse that power. <laughs> the GameCube memory card is having a really good time. What the? I've never seen that logo before. Huh. Alright, save. Yes, I'd like to save. Saved. Alright. Now we can play the game. This is a fuel barrel genera generator. It has been left here by the by General Scales, who uses the fuel to power his sharp claw army. Each time you use a barrel, another will be generated at this location. That's very convenient. Alright. What are you? The King Earthwalker sent us to protect Krizoa Palace. It's not safe for you here. If you try to find yourself if you find yourself in danger, press X to roll out of the way. Alright. Whoa, I found myself in danger and rolled out of the way. See, that's a good tutorial. He's useful. Whoa. Uh, there's nothing in it. Was the barrel... Uh, so oh, yeah. I'm supposed to use the key over here. Okay. Move any direction. Will automatically go with... Cr yeah. I'm just going to stop reading the tutorial because it is use... It is literally... Er it's a Zelda game, folks. This, this is... Look, gang. This is a Zelda game. Look, gang. Uh, look, folks. This, this, this is the Legend of Zelda. This is the Legend of Zelda Five. All right. Uh, there's no point in defeating these enemies since they just respawn. So uh, over here, you'll notice that the shadows are glitching out. I I don't think I can fix that. That's just an emulation bug. There we go. Oh, she found something else. I would not be mad if that played every time that she picked up something. Puck Puck eggs. Don't worry, they're not dinosaur eggs. I didn't think they were. They come from huge Puck Puck birds that the Sharp Claw breed is... Sharp Claw breed is just tasty snack. Walk over to the egg to collect and recharge your en energy. Yeah. Well, I didn't take damage, so, so I don't really need to do that. You don't seem well... Wow, your collision is horrible. General Scales and his Sharp Claw army attacked. We tried to stop them, but we were there were too many. To safely look around before you enter an area, press Z to see from head view. Whoa! Jeez, so this is what, uh, this is how they see things in this universe? I'm glad I don't live here, because that looks a bit strange. What the? Yeah, I still don't understand what this what this heart symbol means, because... Well, let me get hurt, see what it does. Right. Oh, maybe it's telling me that there's a heart in there? Alright. Uh, yes. X. Right. Maybe there's secrets in here. Let me, uh... No, I gotta go to the barrel generator. Oh, get out of the way. <laughs> Here we go. You've collected a Dumbledeg pod. It is a delicious fruit only found on Dinosaur Planet. You will find them in sharp claw baskets and crates, or hanging in Dumbledang trees. Even baddies will sometimes drop them. I have no idea. Wait, these are like two different healing items. You'd think one would be enough. What the hell did I just do? It's probably because I walked off the edge and she can't hold it. Uh, These dinosaurs are just a hindrance to me. Why am I even helping them? Alright. Let's just throw this over here. You should leave this place. Scales has brought a great evil into this palace. To be extra safe, sneak around corners by holding down L trigger and moving the left analog step and You people are just you have no character. You're just telling me like these tutorial things, which half of these aren't even probably gonna be useful. Alright. 